Hi, I'm Devranya Dossi, Programming Director for No 99 Television. This is our tape library. We offer a host of educational programs for learners of all ages. Most of our programming comes with off-air record rights, which means you can record them and use them in the classroom. Today we're going to visit South Mountain High School, where Mrs. Sanderson is using a program from our Shakespeare short series to enhance her lesson on Macbeth. The ornament of life and live a coward in thine own esteem. We just got done reading Act 1, so we read scenes 1 through 7 right now. And we're reading about the different characters and how each one of them has an effect on Macbeth. We got introduced to the witches, which are three witches, are all sisters. Weird sisters, hand in hand, posters of the sea of We viewed a clip that just basically told, showed us different perspectives of what they could be, of how the witches could be the kids, or they can be like older women, and then they, told, they gave us different perspectives on what was going through Macbeth's mind, how the witches affected him, and how, how everybody else affected his thoughts. Well, in the reading and watching in the movie of the clip that we just saw was the witches had digging their hands into this big pot as you know back in the day they were used to and then they just brought out this big nasty thing and then they out of nowhere just forms into a baby and then in the book I they were they prompted it but I couldn't really picture it until I saw it in the movie and then, you know it was really uh, it was cool it was more you know interesting to watch than just to hear it. With Shakespeare there's so many different layers, layer upon layer upon layer and I notice that as I teach you know every year I find a new layer. The kids read it and again they understand one layer of it but then when they see it then they can go back on their notes and what we've already discussed in class and then see it being acted out too kind of helps. And too I mean we use a variety of activities as you you know saw that they were drawing because different kids learn differently, you know, they can watch it, they can hear it, they need to see stuff, so it kind of works in the, I guess, multiple intelligences, so to speak, within the classroom. You don't have to use the whole 20 minutes, so you can break it up into chunks. So I think um, whoever designed it was cognizant of the idea that, yes, teachers have a limited amount of time, but I can just take a, sh a small piece of it seven-minute piece and use that to kind of enhance what we're already talking about. So I think it worked well. I like using the video as a different resource because you have to have many different resources to help you out on what you're studying so you can get a better perspective of it. It's more fun and more, you know, interesting, which I like. I've taught Macbeth for three years now, so I get kind of stuck in this mode of doing the same thing, and this has helped, you know, to kind of fluff things up for me and do something a little different. Well, if you're looking to do something different, I encourage you to give No 99 programming a try. Most of our series include lesson plans and teacher guides that you can download from our website. To learn more about No 99 programming, visit our website at phoenix.gov no 99. For No 99, I'm Devranya Dossi.